of the day, I saw a video on YouTube that was described as welding MIG like TIG. Or welding with MIG so that it looks like TIG. And if you've seen a you know TIG weld, if you've even looked, watching this, you probably already know. But it's like, let's say it's supposed to look like a row of dimes laying on its side. Because you're overlapping when you're welding. And it in circles and it kind of looks like dimes. Um, so this welding MIG like TIG. I thought it was really interesting because I was at first I, I didn't understand. I thought it was just a technique, and although it is a technique, it's a technique that really violates the rules of welding, which is you put in a certain amount of heat, you put in a certain amount of uh, material, and when you do that, it melts away both sides of the material uh, at the right at the right amount, and so you get a really good connection of the metal. So MIG like TIG violates some of those rules such that you're welding the metal, like this is an uh, eighth inch plate, but if you use a certain technique, you weld this like it were a sixteenth inch plate or something thinner than what it actually is. And what you do is that it, it puts in a lot less material, you get a lot less penetration, but because there's so f less material, you have time to go and like make these swirls that make it look, you know, fancy and nice. Now I, I've done TIG before. I've never, I mean, I've done MIG, obviously, but um, I have never done MIG like TIG. So in the spirit of entertainment, and not because I need this at all, this is going underneath the truck. No one's ever gonna see it. And actually probably better if it were structural than if it was pretty. Um, I'm gonna try the MIG like TIG on the outside here, and I might just do regular MIG wells on the inside because, uh, you know, for the, for the strength aspect. But this part I think is, ridiculously beefy so I'm not worried about um, I'm not worried about the structural component of it if I do some fancy welding on this side so never done it before so I'm gonna try to do it right now it may be a complete disaster I have no idea uh, and I don't really know exactly how to do it except for the fact that I have to turn down my feed rate and turn down my voltage um, I think I'm going I think I'm gonna pull I think I'm gonna pull it so I'll start from this side and go to this side, but we'll see what happens. This might come out looking awesome, and it might come out looking like a complete disaster. But hey, it's already kind of complete disaster anyway, so it'll blunder it in. All right, cool. What do we got? All right, so let's check this out. Let's see what kind of settings I have here. So right now, 17302. 17302. So I'm, I'm, I'm welding steel. I'm using ER70S. Uh, 75, 25, uh, 30 thousandths. So, yeah, so based on this thickness here, it looks like I'm supposed to be using 17,305. But I'm going to bump this way down. I'm going to do it like I'm way over here. So this is like, well, this would be half the thickness. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll try this. 16, 16, 210. 16, 210. All right. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's try that. See what kind of wheels this thing makes. Whoop. Well, I'll tell you what. That looks like MIG. <laughs> that's MIG like MIG right there. <laughs> Let's go lower. I'll keep, I'll keep wing it here. See if I can get it going here. Oh man, I'm putting a ton of heat into this thing. It's a good thing it doesn't matter because I'm putting a ton of heat into this. I will say there's still a lot of material in there. Still a lot of material, and although it looks a little more TIG-ish, it definitely doesn't really look like TIG to me. So I'm going to bump this down a little further. So now I'm going to weld it like it's 20 gauge, which is about less than a third of what that what it should be getting. 15, 130. The other thing is that it takes a lot longer to do because you're sitting here making swirls. <laughs>
have to see what I'm doing here. So this is 3.2 millimeter steel. And this first one I welded as if it was 1.6 millimeter steel, which would be half, half the heat, half the current, half everything I, was, I should be using. And it still looks very much like MIG, I think. Um, what's this next guy? This next guy was as if it was 1.2 millimeters. And then this next guy was as if it was 0.9 millimeters. So about a third, a third everything, a third the current, a third of what I should have done. And although I guess it kind of looks, kind of looks like TIG, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely, you can tell, at less than a third the penetration. It definitely uh, is not a good weld at all. I mean, it's not a strong weld at all. I mean, I guess if your, your idea of good is based on how it looks, you know, I guess if you look the way, like the way it looks, that, that's something. I'm going to do some more of this. Maybe I'll, nah, I guess this is probably, probably pretty good. I think if I practice with this a little better, a little more, I'll get this to, to look how it's supposed to look. Alright, so recap. I, uh, I did a bunch of different welds here, uh, just to kind of check out how they're going to come out. So the MIG leg TIG uh, thing, this was welding it like as if it were as half as thick as it was. This was a little bit less than half. This is, was about, if it was a third as thick as it was. And I think on the other side here, I welded it as if it was a quarter, a quarter as thick. So this is, uh, I think this is a third here. This is a quarter. And you can see, you can really see like why this doesn't really work. Because you get like no penetration. And, a lot, and maybe I should have put these a little closer together. Uh, but... You know, this was back to back to a third as thick. And, oh, yeah, here's another thing that I thought was interesting. You have to really go out of your way to make really wide loops. Um, like, way, way wider than you would normally. Because if you don't, this happens. And it gets very, it gets very high. I don't know if you can even tell that from the thing. It's a very high weld because it's just, it's cool, it's cooling off so fast because you're not putting any heat in. So... I mean, hey, is it worth is it worth it to have a, a bad weld so that it looks like this? Pretty much best case, I don't know. I would say probably not. So on this side, uh, this is just regular MIG. This is basically what you're gonna get if you if you do nothing. You know, if you just go and put out the right settings and just uh, weld it up. I mean, I'm not I'm not a pro welder at all. Um, but I mean, I guess, you know, obviously a, a good welder would get to be a little more uh, even. I'm just kind of flying through here because I really don't care. But, uh, and also, I don't get any practice. But yeah, no, you know, I don't know. I don't. If it's a weld that has no intention of needing to hold anything, then you're probably fine. But if, like, you want this thing to, like, be like a structural component, this is like a big X. No, no way.